are Initiative Zero. This is the Gotham Chronicle. We got a brand new story this time. Clayton, Diego, Stan, and Travis all finally escaped Delaware, and we are back in Gotham. And I believe this story is called A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which scares the bejesus out of me. But uh, hey, I'm not the only one, because I'm here with, <coughs> with Teku, Vahilo, and Golgotha, ready to suffer at the hands of Dark Templar. And I don't really think we have much more to say than this is, uh, yeah, this is a new story. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you like us, hit the like button. Well, if you like this episode, anyway, hit the like button. If you really like us, subscribe. Uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, if you want to be reminded of our next show, it's every we post every Friday. But uh, hit the bell and you'll get a little reminder. So, uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. And with that, I'll turn it over to Dark Templar. All right, guys, so we're going to start pretty normal here. Um, just want to add to our listeners here that uh, since this time, uh, there has been some downtime. Uh, so we talk about that a little bit. And also uh, the characters uh, that are played by our four, uh, four gentlemen here um, have upgraded their uh, character sheets and have uh, you know certain attributes. And so if you see anything funky with the roles or like why these numbers are so different, uh, it's because they've added certain uh, you know merits or skills to their particular characters. And uh, that's why that's what it's like. I think so. We're just a little. I think the word pleaded, Sorry, rather than added. We pleaded for those points. There were negotiations. There were, Some yeah. There was pleaded. begging. You know. Yeah. I don't think I begged. I was very clear. Yeah, you did it behind deserted. closed doors, sketchily. I, I'm, I'm just excited to start playing my character. That's right. I said start God. playing my character as a narcissist. Oh. Uh, after our <laughs> yes, last that's episode. Right. My, uh, my morality level, Clayton's morality level, dropped to a level four, and I picked up. <laughs> A, uh, a derangement as a narcissist. Um, so with that, with our, our listeners and our viewers, uh, you're going to see Clayton less inclined to work as a member of a team. Um, Which and he may uh, suffer some penalties as a result fantastic. of that when he rolls. Yeah, you're already you're already a peach to work with. Yes, you 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 also would think that Diego also has derangement, but he doesn't. He just yeah, hates Philo. So yeah, that's also <laughs> He's just kind of a. I dink. don't. I don't. What? No, I am not a dink. I have very rational reasons for not liking Bahai. I, I enjoy, not, actually, I, I like Bahai. I don't listeners. like Clayton. Right, right. I right. enjoy that all of our listeners probably, you know, agree on the fact that Clayton is an absolute asshole towards yes. Diego. Yes. Um, but the rest of the players in this game um, see Diego as the asshole. So that's. <laughs> I, I know. I don't know. That. I don't know where this comes from. I am a. I'm a magnanimous employer. I care for my employees. Well, anyways, you know, that's, that's Stan does not see Diego as an asshole. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. That's that's Stan's little brother. I'm older than you, but still, you're you're like littler though. No, not much littler. I mean, I'm not even a character, and I think you. <laughs> so what difference does it make? Anyways, um, yeah. So let's get uh, let's get right to it here. Um, we'll start off with. Uh, you know, you guys finally got back to Gotham from your one-day trip. And yes, guys, it was one day worth seven weeks, pretty yeah. much. Thank you. Seven God. to ten weeks. <laughs> that, day, that day felt like an eternity, quite literally. And, never um, ends. Exactly. And um, you finally return uh, back. So we're going to actually have you sh- driving into uh, – we're going to start with you guys driving into uh, – into Gotham so just there. just a quick question. So did I did uh, Clayton go out and buy a new car? Because that was Clayton's car that got stolen no, you, from the just, Derby. No, you guys uh, confiscated a car or whatever, didn't you? Common yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, we just oh yeah, we just paid the money and we were like, yeah. go away. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we're taking this now yeah. and leave. Yeah. All right. So you guys are all uh, squished in the car. You haven't had a bath yet or a shower since then. And uh, I need all... to go to a hospital. I had a nice swim. Well, You've all seen some shit. <laughs> We've seen some shit. <laughs> and uh, so who's driving? I am. All right. So with uh, Stan at the wheel, you take it away. What do you want to so let's go play this out? Go for it. Clayton's riding shotgun. Just, Just be aware. I'm going to sit behind Clayton and very quietly mumble. Um, do me a favor. Just while you're up there, make sure that uh, someone in the car has their hand on the steering wheel at all times because... You guys weren't around, but there was there was an incident that, in retrospect, was probably a lot more dangerous than it absolutely needed to be. So just 
just just keep an eye on on Stan's driving. He uh, gets a little squirrely sometimes. I start yeah, singing. No I got that. I got sunshine. Just driving along. Fair enough. Roll Great. down the window. Sweet. Put my arm out. So um, catch the wind with my hand. Uh, One hand on the wheel. So Diego's bleeding still pretty good from his uh, leg wound. Yeah, can you take me to a hospital, like, now? That's where we're going. But good, let's not... get there quickly. How fast do you want me to go? Well, I'm kind of bleeding. What, you want to get pulled over? Well, I suspect that they see us pulled over, they might ask why, and then I could show them the two by four through my leg and they could probably get us there even faster. So Clayton, yeah, speed. Clayton, speed. I am speeding already. Clayton, is he really bleeding that bad? I mean it's seeping. Well I'm in the back with Oh sorry. With him. Can sorry. I get a look at it? Oh, yeah, can sorry. I do just a Travis is his super... leg is his leg really yeah, bleeding. Can that I get bad? a superficial medicine check just to kind of gauge Sure, go Whether for this is a bad case of spike in leg or just vaginitis. Sure. As long as wow. uh, my God. As, as long as you don't try to ask for a merit later or a skill point after this. Sure. Off of one sarcastic roll, probably not. Well yeah, I've seen worse. So what that that's int that's int and medicine. Medicine. And I'm not doing anything because I am not a doctor. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I'm just trying to gauge the injury. At this point, that's all we're doing here. Yeah, call the ambulance. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think Diego should quit his bitching. I... So, <laughs> so, so Travis, uh, when you look at his leg, it does not look good. Like you think, like you know, like it, when he says like a two by four, it's quite a big piece of wood in his leg. Like it's 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 uh, it's not a good scene. There's like some white pussing coming out of it, like some. Some like white fluid coming at it. It looked like it might hit the bone, uh, hmm. and he uh, he's doing pretty good. Like he he hasn't uh, he obviously it's quite a big you know injury, and uh, he hasn't been you know whining about it as much as you thought he would. Uh, but he's holding it in pretty good. Like he's getting kind of pale. Like, there's like a lot the of wood blood. or the pain. Both the wood. He's holding the wood in. Yeah, he's holding the wood in. Uh, <laughs> no, the pain in. And uh, but he's getting pretty pale. He's been bleeding for a bit, and uh, he's not looking too hot. Can you? And neither is his leg. Can you just stop losing fluids in our adventures? First, it's your your black oozy soul, and now it's literally your lifeblood. This is this I'm is attention hey, seeking at this point. Is what it I'm, is. I'm I'm desperately trying not to die. I mean, you know, I apologize for not being successful. So I want to try to get to. A hospital as fast as I can. Sound I'm going to shoot Stan the eyebrows in the rearview mirror and be like, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to, um, that would probably be like dexterity plus drive or something like that. Or actually, can yeah. we use wits plus drive to try to think of the fastest way? Or is it intelligence plus drive? You can do wits plus drive. Is Somebody wits? pull out their cell phone. They usually have the fastest routes and that's like helping. I and that, but like wits, nobody, wits for like weaving in and out of traffic. I don't know if that's dex or wits, but yeah, yeah. But I could, I could. Here, let me pull my phone out. I'll pull out the old uh, uh, Google Maps because we don't want to get into, you know, trademark infringements here. And uh, I'll, I'll I, try and give you the fastest route, and then you can duck, dodge, and dive through traffic if you want. Is that a, that a thing we can do? No, I can't Anyways, stop you. But yeah, go for it. All right, here comes the roll. How many successes do I need to get to, to Gotham? 8,000. <laughs> you need uh, five successes. Oh, good. There's two. There is two. How long between rolls? Um, Probably like, I don't know, I'll, I'll give you like two minutes between rolls. No, that would mean if I make five successes in three rolls, I we got there in six minutes. <laughs> no, 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 I mean like two minutes in like real game, like this actual game time. I'll, no. I'll come back to you in two minutes, kind of. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, but like in, in like for Stan, 
how many like what's the time frame? Oh, to actually get to the hospital, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It would be like twenty five minutes per roll. Right. Okay. So I have twenty five minutes have gone by. Yeah. So yeah, um, obviously uh, you, you kind of feel him jerking around uh, left and right there. Um, what do you want to do? Phrasing. Um, I'm going to just uh, try to try to stay conscious. Um, maybe pull up my phone and look at some porn. Yeah, probably. Uh, or bear barring that, uh, maybe email, um, uh, you know, clients and say, Hey, so, uh, I'm going to probably be out for a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm going to let, uh, you know, you know, Noak, Stan and, uh, Mr. Noak and, uh, and the others uh, will, will take on those cases while I am in the hospital. I think fucking not, dude. What's that? I will bring your laptop to the hospital. You can work remotely. You're fine. Wow. Ship and work around like you're the boss or some shit? I, I, I am a boss. <laughs> cool it, Tony Danza. Thanks. You're, you're no, yeah, you're no Lisa Milano. Anyway, moving on. Clayton, you want to do anything? Um, yeah, I just want to tilt my seat back and have a sleep. <laughs> for, a se- for a second there, I thought you were driving, and I was about to just marvel. <laughs> it's happening you know, I just, again. Uh, I just want to crank my seat back a little bit and, and uh, close my eyes and just try and... Sounds, sounds good. Yeah, you fall, and you actually fall right asleep. It's like you haven't slept for hours, like a whole day or maybe 10 weeks worth, and you just need to fall asleep, and you just, boom, you're out cold. What's that Instead crunching there, sound? Oh, that's Travis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, let's so go back is, to stand. Roll this for is one. my life. All right. This is my life. Here it comes. Oh, another 25 yeah. minutes go by. You hit some traffic, right? No one will obviously break any speeding laws. Yes, you friend, do. I'm friend, going fast. Is, he's going fast. So he's just, you know, being careful and making sure everyone survives the ride, which is very important. You know, seatbelts and all. Right, kids? Right? Yeah, and, uh, please don't fuck. Please don't fuck this up. Yeah, please don't fuck this up. Diego, did you bring um, your helmet? Yeah. And uh, Clayton here is just snoring away. He's got like a, uh, you know, like one of those anime just, snot just bubbles saw happening. Logs. Yeah, just saw just... logs. So I'm like, hey, nice to see he cares. Fair enough. Um, let's go to Travis. You want to do anything? Um. I don't know that there's a whole lot I can do from this position back here. I mean, when we're closer, I can call the hospital and kind of let them know, hey, coming in hot. Well, we, we should be. We've, now we've been we driving to. for almost yeah. an hour. You should be able to call the hospital by this point. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'll call them and let them know that there's been a terrible accident. Like the kind of thing you'd expect from like the old school lawn darts, except it's just wood. And uh, Wood darts. Like we, we, talk, we, we, have, talk, we, talk, we talking pool cue or we, we have a bad it? case of the human kebab and you know what let's try and give the approximate dimensions what would you compare this to like how many how many dildos is this diego that you have inside you uh probably a good eight incher yeah we've got about eight inches eight inches thick that's fucked up man no not no, thick like deep how thick is your calf hang on <laughs> what are you like what are you you're just shapes it's like Jesus. <laughs> it's passed through. It's through the bone. Well, it's not through the bone. Like it went through the through calf, the muscle, right? You know, yeah, the muscle. The okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway, well, uh, I guess we'll have you ready here in Emerge when you pull up. What are you guys driving? Um, what did we steal? The nineteen ninety two. We're not a hundred percent sure, but it's Sounds totally good. legit. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> we'll be looking for you. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, give me another wits yeah. plus drive roll there. We'll get ham calves to you as soon as we can. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hey, there we go. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, you uh, hour fifteen. You manu- We're good. Do your maneuvering, right? Uh, you eventually get into like the uh, the oval there. As you get to the emergency uh, area of the of the uh, hospital, you pull up, stop the car, and uh, begin to and immediately. Um, someone's rolling out with a with a wheelchair, essentially, because uh, for Diego. 
Excellent. Uh, that box, by the way, bring it back to the office and uh, we split it when I'm out. You're delirious. You need to you need to get in the the wheelchair. I almost called it a golf cart for a minute there. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm having a problem. Fair enough. You yeah. bet I'm just gonna say I'm I'm gonna get in the chair. Right, gets in the chair, starts rolling you in there. Uh, do you guys wanna go into the hospital or do you guys wanna like just take a day or whatever you guys wanna do? Well I guess I guess we wanna go back to the office and put this box in the vault. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Um, make sure, we make should... sure the office is still in one piece. We've been away for Hang a on. day. So. No, no, no. <laughs> we should also inspect the contents of the box because we did mm. just come from a field full of explosives and we don't want to put an explosive in the vault that has a whole bunch of sensitive stuff. Just, just really quickly, which hospital am I at? You know which one. <laughs> it, it's not that one, is it? You know which one. The closest oh one. That's amazing. Okay, bye, Diego. Yeah. Okay, one of you stay with me. One of you, Travis, you stay with me. Let's drive away. I... Travis, stay with me. I can't hear you over the sound of the window oh. going up. God, don't do this to me, man. I, I actually, wait a minute, me. hang on. I might have been the only one that didn't alienate all of the support staff in the hospital. It might actually <laughs> not be a bad idea. But we do want to cause Diego less duress than he's already in, right? <clears throat> Is that the goal? Yes! Oh, I've been playing this backward. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. You, did re- you did remove the, the the problem that was in this, right? Yes, but I just still don't trust anything. Removed what problem? What do you? The, the... No. Okay, I, I don't. I don't know what we're talking about here. Diego wanted to go to the hospital. We got him to go to the hospital. He's in there. <laughs> just... He doesn't want to go to the hospital. God damn it! I, I'll go like, with Diego. Him. He doesn't want to go now. I don't get it. I... I will go with Diego absolutely begrudgingly. I oh, I have a question before I do that though. Um, brilliant. Hell. Then no, you can, shh, okay. You're the one calling it audible in the middle of the fucking thing. Um, brilliance. My nine inch blade. Sure. Can I un nine inch it back to the size that it would fit in my pocket without it going like inside me, like a lot, like in the leg? Oh, like, uh, no. No. Okay, we're not doing that then. Um, okay, Stan. Yes. <clears throat> What's up? So, um, we met an entity while we were far and away, and the entity gave me this, and this is mine. I'm bleeding and I, out. And I want here. It, you're just making this take longer. And I want this back, <laughs> and it is mine, but this cannot go into the hospital with me, and I will subtly hand him Brilliance, my amazing nine-inch knife. Whose powers have yet been in like? How come you determined. got something? Because because you might have striking looks, but I'm just prettier, and then I'm gonna walk away. I got something too. I got a fucking pole in my leg. You're delirious. It's probably a brain a brain bleed. Let's go. Okay. I look, then, I look uh, at the nurse. I look at the uh, the blade there. Can I do? Uh... No looking. Nope. Oh, nope. I'm looking. That's my when job. your back is turned, I'm looking. No, no, no. You don't understand. I'm like walking to the door, turning around and giving the, like, the, I'm watching you gesture. That's fine. I'm still looking. Stay on. Just drive the fuck away, man. Not yet. Like, as soon go. as he drives away, I'm texting a let's picture go. of me doing the I'm watching you gesture. <laughs> Intelligence plus occult just to kind of evaluate the blade. Oh, sure. you dink. <laughs> First of all, does my unseen sense go off with regard to relics? Yes. Oh, cool. It absolutely goes off. As soon as you touch it, you feel like you feel you you can feel the blade. Like it's that like as low as an appendage, it feels right. It feels right. (laughs) That's well the phrasing that we've had today. And like it, and um, it like it makes you feel like really really confident. It's not yours. Like you feel super (laughs) confident. Like you could just cannot have it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to, to explain this blade. Can you off. shut up for a second? Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah. So no, as soon as you, as soon as it's in your hands, that that sense goes off that you have, and like you just feel super confident. Like you just feel really, really good. Like just amazing. Like you, like you didn't just run through a fucking forest for ten weeks in a day, right? Like you, you feel awesome. Like just, just peachy. Cool. What the hell? I, can I, I analyze it a little bit then with intelligence plus occult? You sure can. Cool. And what are you looking for exactly? 
Um, anything that like markings or anything that might give me some idea as to what it does or what it's for on an, on an occultic sense, like in a okay, mystical sense. Good. Go for it. Look at that, four successes. Wow. Okay. So the first thing you do notice is that there's that uh, moth butterfly symbol on it. It's right on the hilt. Okay. <laughs> butterfly. Okay. Right. Thanks. And butterfly. Um, but the thing you know is like when you, uh, there is like an, a, a groove in the middle of the knife on both sides, like right through the middle. And it kind of goes to a point uh, near at, at, near the end of the point there. Okay. And um, there seems to be some like uh, inscription on both sides. And you kind of, for some reason, you feel like running your finger through it. And I as like you do. Finger. I hope it's not sharp. <clears throat> Well, is you, no, but it's in the middle. So the middle's okay. not sharp. It's kind of grooved in. I got it. Yeah. yeah. And so, and as you uh, as you move your finger along it, uh, you do feel something being kind of you're, like. You're, what, what finger do you want to choose? Pick a finger. That you the one that, that probably my like index finger, if it fits. Okay. Yeah, it fits. Yeah. So yeah, your index finger. And as you do that, it does feel like, like you feel a little bit of a of a pain in your in your finger, like a little prick. But uh, and as you move it over, it starts to. It looks like your blood's filling in the, uh, the the inscription. Okay. And when it does, it actually starts to radiate, like it starts to become bright. Kind of like the like the one ring. Very much so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, yeah, it starts to it starts to move from like uh, if you go from like you know Roy G. B., Roy G. Biv kind of situation. So it starts off with your red and then goes to an orange and and keeps moving along. I don't know how far you want to move it along though. I'll keep. What do you want I'll keep do? going. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually, you move it all the way to the end. So you're yeah. violet at the end there, and uh, you can hear a hear something in your voice and said, "What?" And, and it it basically calls out and says, "What do you What do you make of me? Name your element." Hmm. Element. Yes, I can't say something like, you know, like plutonium or anything like that. Um, you could you just might die after. <sighs> well, but I'm, I'm assuming it's a more occultic thing. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go with like Chinese style elements. I'm going to say cool. wood. Okay. And then as you think that, you don't even have to say it. You think it in yeah. your head like, as though you're communicating with that voice. And immediately, the entire, uh, besides the actual handle, uh, which is like a metal-like handle, um, the uh, entire blade turns into wood. And it's still quite sharp. Uh, and all the inscription turns into wood. And the uh, the uh, symbol, that uh, butterfly symbol, uh, yeah. turns into like a, a, like like a brownish. Or, oh, yeah, like a, kind of... yeah. Okay. Like a, like a bright brown. A very gotcha. bright brown compared to the rest of it. And then from it, uh, you notice that there are some extensions to it. It kind of flays out like there's branches, uh, but all the branches are look like they're razor sharp, like they're little spikes all the way across, like a like an atlato almost, but not with obsidian. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Can I think a different element? Sure. Uh, just before you do that, uh, Vahila, what are you doing? Are you watching this? I don't know what you're doing. Are you just like? Um, well, yeah, like I'm, I'm wanting to watch it. Like he's looking at this weapon. So I want to pull out the gun that I got from, uh, from that guy in the forest. <laughs> that I killed. In the parking lot. <laughs> or they go through the and and I want to look at, off. I want to look at that gun to see if it does kind of the same, uh, same cool things or other cool things like this blade. Is. So, um, you examine, you examine this gun and, uh, you notice all the cool like designs that are in it. Uh, kind of thing and um you're trying to find like maybe like a, a similar uh symbol of this butterfly or whatnot unfortunately there isn't one it's very uh like ornate um and it is a double barreled like kind of gun so like it's it has two bullets that would come out it's like a mini like sawed off shotgun but in like a, a gun type of style a musket okay. almost. I don't know can know. I can I pull out the clip and and examine what the uh, what the bullets are like? Yeah, sure. So yeah, you do pull it out, and uh, they they are uh, they are very bright, as though they're kind of like uh, a very bright metal. It's not like a regular bullet. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I just want to examine this gun and, and kind of look at the bullets and, and sure. the markings and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Like, it looks like the mouth of, like, a, of, a, of a wolf opening its mouth, like its jaws kind of thing. It looks really fucking cool. Um, but can I, can I roll my intelligence and occult and see if there's anything else I can determine from it? Go for it. So, uh, yeah, so you do notice, like, as I mentioned about the bullets, not regular bullets, um, you, you, you're not sure what the substance is, but you absolutely know these are not regular bullets that you would buy at an ammunition shop. Great. The gun itself is just fucking awesomely cool looking. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, I guess, you see his his this knife, not his. I was gonna say his knife, but you see this knife change its its state of like its its element, I guess, into wood. What do you want to do? Yeah, so I I want to turn to uh, I want to turn to Stan and just say, man, Travis is gonna be pissed when you fucking turned his knife into wood. Why it'll kill vampires. What was it before there? It was steel or it was, like it was, steel. It was a... carbon yeah. fiber? I don't know. I don't know, man. He's going to see a wooden knife and get pissed off. Then he'll give it to me. <laughs> oh, he'll give it to you. You should actually make that knife like plastic or something and then, you know, no no reason why he'd uh, he'd want it back. Gonna... Can you roll a persuasion roll there? You want to roll a persuasion roll on that? Sure. You're gonna have Persuasion to... and. Um... Sorry. Uh, it would be. My apologies. Um, it would be. What's plus. Oh, sorry. Manipulation plus persuasion. Um, he's going to have to be penalized by my resolve if he's trying to. Con... Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes, uh, by you... my composure if he's trying to convince me. So... What is your composure? Four. What? Four. Okay, just one second here. Chance die. Yeah. If he rolls a 10, I'm going to laugh my ass off. No. At least he didn't roll a 1. I rolled a 2. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Close. <laughs> he almost insulted my mother. Yeah. <laughs> or Diego's so, mother. Um, I don't know. And the horse she rode in on. <laughs> So you weren't persuaded by this particular chat that uh, behind oh, sorry, yeah. exactly and Kathy would be here. Look at him. I, 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 <laughs> I think you were planning on doing that anyways, just throwing it out there. I oh yeah, on... let's go back to the law firm. Let's, well, let's I wanna, uh, find out what I want to try to turn it. Box. I want to try to turn it to silver. Okay. As you run your finger uh, yeah. again past it, you hear this uh, voice in your head, but you do feel it like in your finger, like. You, I don't know if you use a different finger or not. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'll, I'll use a different finger. Yeah. All right, yeah. So you use a different finger. You, you feel that like there's no actual mark on your finger. But it, it yeah, I got it. But you feel that something drew from it. You can feel like a little bit of a pinch or a bruise happening gotcha. where you did it. And uh, <clears throat> sorry. And um, so you want to turn into silver? Yeah. 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 And as you do that, it turn like as soon as you, that voice comes, you 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 say to it like telekinetically or telepathically, um, silver. Um, it turns into a just a solid piece of silver and it's like but when it's so it looks like a you know, fine point like a fencing needle almost like it's very very fine it's pointy as fuck cool cool mm -hmm. this but weapon... you still see this but you still see this indent in it and he still he definitely yeah, yeah. you still see this indent. yeah and i, I kind of wave it around in front of in front of uh Vahilo and i start driving as i do it <laughs> like this weapon <laughs> is awesome <laughs> this thing's gonna be super useful in taking out a whole whack of different things. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, once, once, once we get back to the office, I'll, I want you to tell me about my gun here. <laughs> and I just want to hold my gun out in front of me. <laughs> you're, you're leaning away so that your upper body is like out of the cab at this point. Like, yeah, that's really cool. Please stop. You guys, you guys are going to need to the hospital soon enough. Yeah, but... Um, Poker and I. Yeah, so, and I'm like, yeah, this thing, I mean... Wood for vampires, silver for werewolves, cold iron for fairies. Oh yeah, yeah, and Lake and like carbon lesson. fiber steel, right? Reinforced steel for mages, wizards. Because I don't know what kills wizards other than maybe bullets and <laughs> stuff. But anyway, still, 
This is awesome. This is awesome. I hope he knows how to use it. Well, I, I got some color. I got some color. So yeah, well, I got even... I got some colorful bullets in this gun that uh, that I've never seen before, and I don't know. You might be able to help me out with that. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe. Fair enough. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So you guys uh, roll into your uh, your kind of your parking space, but we're gonna move over to we're gonna move over to uh, um, uh, gosh, Diego and Travis here. As you, who I'm seeing you're pushing him in there, Travis. On the no, I'm pretty sure the orderly's wheeling him in. All right, yeah, the orderly's doing it for sure, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, eventually you kind of get into this room, and the doctor is right there, and he's like, oh, that doesn't look good. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't feel <laughs> no. good either. How did you bed do head. this? How did I, you do I, it? Great bedside. So, uh, you know the expression? Ski, you know the, skiing accident? I don't know. You know the expression, it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye? Yes. This is... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's not as smoothly written, but this is pretty no, much along the same course. Pretty much, yeah. You were was... seeing? No, we were we were. Let's let's be real here. We were, we were playing horse, um, where you bet, you, you dare each other to do things, and it gets like progressively chicken. worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, somebody isn't quite as dexterous as uh, you might otherwise present. Kinda. I'm pretty. De- I'm pretty dexterous. Let's be real. He biffed it. Okay. He biffed it. Okay. Pretty much as hard as you can. This, this is all fun and good. Uh, fun again. Fun, but I'm losing a lot of blood. So maybe we could maybe do something about this because uh, I'm feeling nauseous. Yeah, and as they say, no, not not a problem. And he slaps your leg as he kind of does. Like not a problem. <laughs> we'll get to that right away. I like this guy a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we we take our injuries really seriously here. Okay. After I this I, is I great. The blinding pain. Um, I am standing there chewing ends. on my lips to stop from laughing. Like, okay, well, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm in a lot of pain. I, I yeah. know. It, I I'm yeah. trying very yeah. quickly, hard to not yeah. scream, and yeah. Uh, yeah. and it's really increasingly difficult. And fair I'm, enough. I'm just, fair enough. I'm just kind of standing over you, uh, looking down, yeah. going. And, and yeah. you can see it like I've, I've got like anime eyes. They're sparkly as shit. And I'm just yeah, like, can you make a wits plus composure check there, uh, Diego? Wits plus composure. Down. You good, yeah. buddy? You all wits right? Wits plus composure. Yeah. Wits plus composure. That's a sheet roll. Wits. Composure. And danger sense? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I barely it's, make it. Yeah, I know. His name is Dr. Chow. It says so on his uh, his ID tag. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, as he you know, it's kind of though he's being quite playful and trying to be uh, bring some levity to the situation. Uh, you do really you do notice that he has some grave concern in his eyes as he watch looking at your leg there. Yeah, let's uh, let's just think about this. I I really don't want to lose my leg. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm gonna have to. I'll be right back. Uh, I just got, I, I, I just, yeah, I'll be right back. Just one second here. And uh, he's out in a very quick flash there. And uh, what do you two want to do? So I'm going to look over at Travis. I go, I think I'm going to lose my leg. I mean, I'm not in the business of being unduly negative. And I am going to stop talking right there. Okay. So uh, immediately, like not even like, like 30 seconds later, I hear a doom, doom, uh, kind of through the door. And there are uh, two other uh, doctors uh, with him, and uh, he's like, "Yeah," I, and they all ha- they all look at it like, "Whoa!" Like, "Oh shit, this guy fucked up!" And uh, but you never had a spike through the leg before. No, not personally. Uh, ooh, not you, uh, but you've never seen anything like this. Come on, your doctors grow up. Are any of them eating was... junior mints? I did you so. just say grow up to a room full of surgeons? <laughs> Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, when I did. did. When did this happen exactly? Uh, really a couple hours ago. Very early this morning. About what? Two o'clock in the morning, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. Okay. Mm. Stop saying oh my, please. So please. thought about putting it in notebook here's... later. Found out that's for teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Carry it. Carry on. Carry on. Let's do some robotest in it. No. Anyways, um. Ooh, okay, so here's the deal, Mr. What was your name? Velez. Velez, Mr. Velez. Um, here's the thing. 
mm-hmm. looking from the damage that it, it has uh, caused in your leg, it's right through it. It's quite thick. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I feel it. it. It's right there. Yeah. I can feel it. It hurts yeah. a lot. Um, there, are, there are two possible options here. Okay. Um, we either amputate now. No. Which is probably something you don't want to hear. No, um, and it's not going to happen because you're doctors and professionals and this, it could be a lot worse and you're going to not amputate my leg. Or um, yes. we could try to save the leg. Um, yes. But it looks as though it, it's, it's in pretty rough shape. Even the bone's broken as well. Uh, it looks yeah. like you, you severed some, a few tendons yeah, here. Yeah, I'm sure and, it's bad. Uh, yeah, it's not good. It, lo- it looks to be a very quick onset infection. That's happening quite a bit here. Okay, okay, um, okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. If shush, we are no, able shush. to remove, if we're able to remove this successfully, uh, that muscle might never heal again. Listen, might, we might listen, just have to lose the muscle. Listen, listen. I trust that you're going to be competent. You've just given me very negative. I'm mostly conscious here. I'm in tremendous amount of pain. But, but I am but conscious. Good that of, you are still conscious. Yeah, and that's good. But I'm also conscious enough to know that we have money. Like we're actually lawyers and we've got good insurance. So that's 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 great, sir. Yes. I'm glad you have insurance. And not and, worry and, about and, insurance. and and mm-hmm. and with that in mind, do your best. Do your best. Yes, I we will try our best. You, you will do best. your best. Yes, we will I'm do gonna, our do your best. I'm going to kind of put my hand on Diego's shoulder and say, instead of talking in circles, I think the nice doctors need to go. Take me into the emergency get room and ready. Yeah, we're gonna, do the surgery. Yeah, we're going to prepare the theater right now, and, and uh, we're we're going to let them go do that. Yeah, sir. Can we can talk you to you outside? Not uh, uh, one, the one doctor. Uh, I need an Advil. Give me an Advil. Oh. Yeah, can we talk to you outside there, sir? Yeah. Oh, don't talk to him outside. He's not my wife. No, no, no. Jesus. This is good. This is good because we can we can hash some things out. We're gonna make sure. I'm an adult. We're communicating. We're we're in connections. We're doing. He's things my employee. Here. I'm an adult. Then, um, you tell me, Jesus. I'm already out of the room, by the way. You suck. <laughs> you anyway, suck. So the doctor's like, yeah, it looks like uh, it doesn't look good at all. I know he doesn't want to hear this, but uh, he or he's probably gonna lose that leg. <sighs> Or at least a nub at the knee. So that's probably the best we're going to be able to do here. I mean, just, I just want you to, I, 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 don't, I, know, I, I don't know if I, you're his partner or what kind of partner you I, are. I appreciate, I appreciate your, your candor. He's not a partner. Um, I mean, his, his wishes are pretty clear. Uh, just do, do the best you can save as much as you can. Yeah. I mean, optimally, if we can save the leg, perfect. Yeah. If we lose some musculature, we'll take it. If we end up having to resort to that, it's it's better losing part of or a limb than his life, and uh, we can we can go forward from there. Okay, just just yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's that's great to hear. Um, so yeah, we're gonna prepare the operating uh, room as soon as possible here. Um, we have to get your uh, HMO here. And uh, his insurance, and and see what we got. Yeah, is there um, is there anything you need from me? I'll uh, probably contact information just, in, just when he gets out of surgery, and yep. uh, that might be this. I mean, I'm I'm gonna out, um, friends and family just to make sure that they're aware of what's going on, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be in the neighborhood. Uh, who should I leave my contact info with? This is the nurse at the at the station there. It should be fine. All right. Charge nurse. Sounds good. Fantastic. Hopefully this is a different nurse than the last time I was in this hospital, because otherwise <laughs> that's going to get fucking weird. No, it's all good. Yeah, over there. So, uh, yeah, and with that, uh, uh, um, Diego, in the thing, like, so we need to give you a sedative here uh, just to alleviate some of that pain. Uh, the anesthesiologist will be in shortly to uh, prepare you and uh, uh, get you the, the good drugs, we'll say, before we uh, entertain this uh, this surgery. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. I really don't have a lot of choice of this, do I? No, you don't. No, Just not really. Do but what you, you can do. 
But you can always refuse, sir. This, yes, this, you, you are professionals. I will trust you to do the professional thing. And thank you I... for trusting the professionals. Well, that do medical stuff to do medical stuff. Yes, do the medical stuff and save my leg, because I shouldn't be losing my leg over, you know, just falling into a pit. A pit, sir. You said. Long story, like I said, there was a we we kind of messed up. Mm, anyway, people, people have died with less, so. Yes, we'll do our best. We will do our best. Do your best. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And, no, no, thank uh, you. <laughs> anyways, uh, so we're going to say that uh, you roll, they eventually, the guy comes in and uh, kind of gives you the, the what for, uh, basically, you know, how the whole, all the, how the drugs work, puts the stunt in, uh, sorry, the stint in, and, uh, you know, kind of gets you all prepped up and ready. You get into a gown. Kind of thing, and eventually you are wheeled and in, into an operating uh, table, and eventually you are put out um, for surgery. Uh, the, uh, Travis, you are probably in the waiting room. What do you want to do in the waiting room? Um, what I will do is attempt to call uh, Stan. Yep. Call him. He's ringing. Because next of kin and all that. I. Right. Answer my phone. Drive with my knee. Do you, is that how you answer the phone, or no? I, I like is that. Like, like what you say? No, no, no. I'm just telling. I'm just telling. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm explaining. No. Yep. Hello, this is Stan. Uh, yeah, it's Travis. Um, Ego is not good. Why would they do to him? Uh, at this point, they're gearing up to perform surgery, and they've forecasted that there's a very real possibility he will lose his leg, or significant portions of his leg. And I don't know well how well he's coming to terms with that, but they've also made the point of mentioning that people have died for lesser injuries. So... All right. I'm his next of kin may require some next of kin presence. Yeah, yeah. Clayton, we gotta go back. I haven't even turned the car off yet. We just got here. So we're coming. We're coming. Clayton All right, uh pack your I'll stuff. Give the approximate waiting room where I am and Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I will uh stow the phone Two hands on the wheel. Make my way to the hospital. Sounds good. So, um... Oh, can we run the weaponry into... into the vault? Because I can't bring oh, it okay, into yeah. the... I can't bring it into the hospital. Man. Yeah, sure. As you run it into the vault, uh, Debbie's there. And does hell, how is your retreat? Boy, did we retreat. Boy. <laughs> like, we, it was like running so fast. I was surprised it was only one day. I thought you guys were going for the entire weekend. You guys are back pretty quick. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Diego had a rash. So we got to. De um... Debbie is in Deborah. Yeah. Deborah still works here? Yes. She's back. Can't fire her. You ever read I I missed a memo. Do you okay. not even remember Debbie? My God, what's wrong I... with you? I remember Debbie. Yeah, I Debbie, remember Debbie, Debbie is their uh, secretary for those. Yeah, no, no, no. I remember Debbie. I just thought Debbie might have been otherwise indisposed, but okay. Dude, you're living in Gotham. You gotta make ends meet here. Rent's high. Yep. yep. I'm not saying any different. I'm just surprised that she's willing to come back. <laughs> You think a taskmaster like like Diego would let anyone just kind of have a couple of weeks off? No, she's got to earn her way. What are you talking about? She had lots of time off. She had like that's because she was kidnapped. That doesn't count. Semantics. But we've improved security since. <laughs> are you scoring time kidnapped as personal time? That's really excellent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's going out of your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so un, un, unpaid leave, unpaid leave. Oh, wow. Um, 
Anyway, I can hear all these voices echoing in my head. What would what would they be saying right now if they walked in here and saw Debbie back? Um, <clears throat> yeah. But I go to the vault and make a deposit. And, okay, what uh, you put in there? What's that? What do you put in there? Uh, put putting, in there? putting the knife in there. Okay, and you know? Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put my, my Glock and my Glock. Okay. Yeah. I'm not bringing Hilo, those to anything? the hospital. Hilo, you want to bring anything in? You're muted there. So. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, you have a giant box in your, in your trunk. Oh, yeah, that's right. And the giant box <laughs> full of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you might want to. Put that in there. Yeah, you want to look right. in the box? Do you, do um, you no, I'm not looking in the box right now. Um, Diego is in, in distress, and Fajilo is asleep. So, so we're going to. Uh, I'll I'll make sure to put Fajilo's awesome new gun in there. Sounds good. And uh, anything else that might get us arrested if we brought it into a hospital. We got death dealer. Yeah, yeah, swords. Yeah, any any yeah. sort of thing that might look. Like, we could really, you know, get arrested for if we had it with us going into a hospital. Fair enough. Yep. yep. And to, I'm going to have you even rule for it. I but, really uh, like the description, murdery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have you roll to get back in the car and drive all the way. You do drive there successfully. I, I and, hope so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of streets are these? Right. Yeah. Mean streets of Gotham. But anyways, uh, you get there, eventually you see uh, uh, Travis there at the waiting room and just kind of sitting through like a Chatelaine magazine. And there he is. Eventually, uh, the clock on Papa C probably. And, uh, the, uh, surgeon comes out. And he's uh, kind of looking around. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who the surgeon is. Like I would, would, I would direct, uh, stand to the surgeon, make my way to the surgeon Oh, and introduce okay. Stan as next of kin. Yeah, and he's like, uh, great I'm his news, brother. guys. Um, great news, uh, he is alive and well. Um, the sur- surgery was successful in a way. Uh, we were able to get the, uh, to, sa- to save some of the leg. Unfortunately, we couldn't save the entire leg. So we had to amputate from the, from the knee down. Wow. Wow. This is this is the sound of stunned silence, by the way. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to t- say that, but we did all we could, and uh, there was just too much of a mess in there to be able to repair properly, and uh, yeah, there was nothing we could do to restore that. He's going to uh, to heal. He's okay, going to be though? okay. Yeah, what? he'll be he'll he'll heal okay. Um, he might have some phantom pain, of course. Um, that usually is a common occurrence with injuries such as this. Um, but, uh, I think that, uh, he will be, he will live a normal life, obviously minus that, but, uh, as normal as it can get. Well, yeah. Um, well, he should still be able to, to do all the things that lawyers do. Yeah, he will be. And, uh, we have him on a pretty good sedative right now. He'll probably come to in, uh, in a couple, a couple hours here and, uh, you guys can uh, see him when he comes to. Well, uh, I'm I'm sure he's not in a state to express this yet, but uh, I'm sure he'd want to thank you, everyone on the team, for their efforts. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you for. I mean, he is he is a, a, a gracious and graceful character, just in general. But uh, I'm sure I can't do his sentiments justice. No, no, but I can, I can, I can feel the emotion here and I pat my chest and, you know, I I know he's going to be very grateful that, uh, well, that he at least will pull through this. That's, that's good. So, um, thank you, um, doctor, for your, for all that you and your team have done for him. Sorry, before we let you go, I assume there's going to be a, a continuance of care. Is there anything that, that we might need to be made aware of? Are there arrangements? I mean, is there any sort of 
physio or recovery that we could help with. Um, um, the nurse in the room will probably tell you, give you uh, like some some packets of what uh, you guys could be doing for him. Oh, um, I see. Okay. Yeah. We don't, I don't know personally. Uh, I just do the surgery. But uh, they'll have more information up there when he, uh, he comes to and the guys can I guess, run it with him or through him and, uh, and um, see what's best for him, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank yeah. you again for everything. Yeah, I'm that you... sorry it had to be that way, but it was, it was in pretty bad shape. And uh, unfortunately, that's the best we could do. I understand. I understand. Okay. Um, how well, long is he going to be oh. out? Uh, he'll probably be uh, in some, probably about three to four months before he gets kind of back to it. To, no, I just mean uh, unconscious. Oh, uh, he'll be out for maybe about three more, four more hours there. Okay. It has okay. been a while. Like you, have been, yeah, you guys have been waiting in the wait. Yeah, time. yeah, that's yeah. fine. Just kind of wondering how long I have to get earplugs and brace myself oh. for the ranting and yeah it's going to be and then go pick up all the all the forms to start the the, the litigation process the, the healing yes <laughs> so well i'll leave you guys to it and uh all right then you have a good you have a better day yeah thanks and so thanks. uh yeah, we're going to uh, fast forward here like three hours and uh, eventually in his room. And uh, what do you guys want to do? Um, He's, uh, he hasn't come to yet. He's still like asleep, but it's been that time. He's still asleep, you said? He's like, he's, he's, it's been a few hours. He hasn't come. He hasn't, he hasn't been conscious yet, but you're in the room with him. He's probably about to be conscious very shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I turned to uh, I turned to Travis and I I see Diego's affects there, and uh, you know because we still have I mean they were left in the room there and everything like that. Um, mm -hmm. Travis, Travis, I'm I. What do we do about his shoes? I I don't know that that's the highest order priority. Well, no, but I, we don't have. I mean, I don't want to. That's like rubbing salt in the wound to have both yeah, shoes there, right? Like, I think, I think, first action on is probably explaining the situation. I know, but he's not unconscious. I mean, we could do something with the shoes now. Yeah, but that, I, I mean, if you want to just move it from his line of sight at the point where we're going to be leaving, that's but should fine. we just get rid of it? He's not going to need it. I'm going give to me trust. A, give me a wits plus composure there, uh, Diego. I am going to trust your judgment. Because. Diego? Diego? Sorry, danger sense? No. <laughs> danger sense. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Under, no. Under oh. Of... oh, I wake up. Under heavy yeah. effects of anesthetic, and you're like, danger, danger now. Oh, look at my life, man. <laughs> All right. So. so you hear the end of their conversation there as you start to come come to. Why are you talking about taking away one of my shoes? What did these butchers do to me? And uh, you begin to look down because of your wits plus composure role. Uh, and I see I'm missing. And you get to give me a resolve plus composure check right away. Resolve it, plus it, it, it clues in, and you gotta give me a resolve plus composure check, oh, please. Yeah. This could be a very big. <laughs> I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a minus three for this. I am. I am removing <laughs> the headphones for now because it's yeah. gonna red line hard. I apologize to anybody if I fail this. Sound warning. Like a warning. There it is. Yep, go oh, for it. Okay, go for it. Go oh, for it. Son of a it. bitch! <laughs> those fucking bastards! I told those. Oh, I got better care in Lincoln when I stepped on a fucking garden rake. Doctor! I throw something. Yeah. Um, and then I throw something else. I try to. Yeah, they're yelling. And then I throw the phone. 
I try to calm Diego down with my uh Yeah. yeah it looks I'm like going to use knowing. uh I'm gonna use what would that be? Empathy? Yeah, that would be empathy. And manipulation. Oh no, I'm I'm yeah. good at empathy. Hang on, love I I I'll help give me down. I'll help. Hold on. I'm gonna help. I say I say good. I mean do you actually have empathy though? Because I have I, like one I, dot. He has one dot. <laughs> I possess the skill. I do too. Okay, so I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put willpower into this. Yeah, this might be a worthy. I'm assuming we're penalized here. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> but but why though? We have. Because <laughs> I'm angry. What part of this circumstance would I'm so angry? Failed bad. Would possibly warrant a penalty. Yeah right. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. What's the penalty? Negative two. Okay, so I get a plus one anyway. Here we Vahilo, go. Where's he at? Where is Vahilo at anyways? He's he's in the corner being a narcissist, <laughs> is he, which is he... not going to help. <laughs> oh, I know. This is going to oh, be so God. bad. Um, so that's role? two two that you can add to your roll. Okay, so well, it's... That's an occult roll. Intelligence Oh, occult. why do I have... Oh, oh that's... Oh, what no. can I do with a leg? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, <this> is... <laughs> let's see. <laughs> no. Can you... Can you... You turn your sword, or your little knife blade, into a leg? Ooh. No, because... You said that out I... loud? You said that out loud? No. Oh my god. Could you there imagine? we go. You get oh. no bonuses. Oh, okay, I, thought was a, I thought that was a roll. Okay, this is this is fine. So, manipulation, which I'm good at. Empathy, which I have a score in. This can and be really willpower. <laughs> minus two. And minus two. Oh my god. Oh boy! The anxiety is, is is rising, guys. Well, oh. you already got stand fail to roll, so at least I, yeah, but that. that's par for the course for me. See, on the one it's hand, true. I I worry about getting the zero, but I worry more about having to role play it and how that's what that's going to look like. <laughs> oh, thank oh. God! Oh, oh. 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 oh okay. that last dice? That last die fucking made it. I oh. I'm still gonna have you role play this, so go for it. And I'm gonna sit down, and he's gonna be flapping around. Predictably. Oh, and I'm gonna st- and I, I gotta will... go first though. <laughs> He's gonna be yelling like Rachel, Rachel, where is she? Sorry, put that in there. Oh, yeah. Rachel, Rachel. you you went for it. Wow. Uh, yeah, so okay. I'm gonna be like, well, Diego, look on the bright side. Oh, and I am stiff. Okay, and, I, and, I, and, I I, and my eyes go dead. wide. Like I, I will fight you right now. So, quick question, and this is relevant. Which which leg is currently? Not leg. I pred- I thought it was my uh, my left one. Okay, so I am going to approach you from your right side after stiff farming stand right out of the equation, <laughs> and then I'm going to I'm going to intentionally sit rather close to the wall, right above your head, forcing you to look away from the situation at hand, and I'm going oh, to oh oh hand thank you thank you another limb I could lose. You realize this is just narration. This isn't. Oh, okay. Sorry. You don't have to yell at the narration. I'm not sorry, saying sorry, these sorry. things. Sorry. Okay. I'll, I'll read. I'll re- I'll, I'm not. I'll, I'm not. I approach Diego, which I'm saying out loud to Diego. That's an insane thing. I'm okay, framing I'm the scene. Sorry. Okay. I, got, I got distracted. It's all good. It's all good. Period. So now Period. that you're now that Diego is looking, focusing on me because I'm walking over, and I'm I'm taking Diego's right hand, and I'm trying to explain. Listen. Nothing about this is going to be easy. You're fucking kidding me. No kidding. Nothing about this is going to be fun. Thank you, Dr. Obvious. But for what it is, we are here. Uh Uh-huh. For what it is, you're still here. Well, most of me is. I am really working hard on not tactical slapping you into the floorboards right now. Okay. Understand. Yeah. Is this supposed to help? So this is if, supposed if to I'm help. across the room, I, I success Clayton just wants to jump in. Yeah, it's a great Clayton, but... Clayton just wants to jump in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Diego, cringe. It's coming. Diego, why the fuck are you so angry? Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Awesome. I Diego, love why the fuck are you so angry? We haven't got a downtime yet. My heart, my pointed empathy is just gone. Diego, <laughs> why the fuck are you so angry? Oh, is that a real question? 
I could have left you in the forest in that oh. hole, and that guy would have put a bullet into your head, and you would no longer be alive. At least you can still practice and be a lawyer. Okay. So yes, you had your leg amputated, but that's better than not being alive. I'm going to make an observation, and I don't blame you. Believe it or not, I don't blame you for this. It's going to sound like I do, but I don't. I don't. Um, and I have to put the caveat that I don't blame you. Um, you kind of did leave me at the most inopportune time, and thankfully, <laughs> I wasn't eaten. But you're but... still alive. You're still alive. <sighs> That thing that was standing over top of that hole would have just like eat, eat me, killed eat me. you. Oh, I, I get that. Eat I get me. that. I get that. Okay, Diego, the point that I was trying to draw to here is not dissimilar from Clayton's sledgehammer of a point. You are still alive. And I, now... I just want him to and, but, 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 please, please. And I'm going to scan the room. There's no... There's no nurses, doctors, anybody else outside of the four of us in this room, right? Yeah, I don't DT, see anybody. GT, we're, we're good? Hello? Dark yeah, Templar. Okay, there's nobody else in the room with us? There's no, no. nurses or any? No. no, no. And I will, I will look Diego dead in his eyes and say, understand, we have experienced situations in this city in the last couple months where people lost limbs and then miraculously got them back. This is true. This is not an insurmountable obstacle as we've seen it. Well, the priest is dead now. It wasn't the priest. It oh. was the vampire. But um, you have to be a vampire, I think. To you, do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you a a? Do you hold a doctorate in vampire studies? Can you? Explain to me the differences between human and vampire physiology because I can't. I think I can't. I can't. Exp I, think, I can't I think, explain. No, I think no, I can actually. Possibly. I can't explain the majority of what we've seen, but we've seen it, and there has to be more than what we've seen. So I'm not promising you that we can fix this. The best I can offer you is a realistic, albeit optimistic, light at the end of the proverbial tunnel. Hmm. Yes, this is not a good state of affairs. Mm -hmm. But you are not alone. Unlike the average person, however, there is a reason for hope. Even if it is shrouded entirely in the darkness of this godforsaken city. And okay. all of its chronicles, which are also in darkness. <laughs> I don't want to know there, pal. I don't, know. I don't know what you're saying. Shut up. The books, please. Shut up. I'm narrating. Shut up. Everyone, shut the fuck up. This is fine. Okay, so I listen to you. I listen to him, and I kind of nod my head. I go, "Yeah, I guess you're right." You know what? For ad living, that wasn't half bad. For one, that was actually, that was one actually really good. Yeah, okay. yeah for one success, fuck yeah, me. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah. Well, so I, I kind of nod my head. I go, "Yeah, you're right. You're right." Uh, yeah. That said, we're still suing these bastards. So and, I, gotta be, I gotta be me. I gotta be me. Fair yeah. enough. And you can be you next episode. We're going <laughs> to be stopping there. Um, basically, uh, when we when we take our, when we get to our next episode, uh, it will be about uh, two months into the future after you've had this conversation. So you've done some recovery time. Uh, with I, I'll probably is convinced not. not to sue. Probably. Sure, we can. We can say that and um yeah i want to thank everyone for uh, joining us i know there's maybe a little slower episode uh but uh, we had to obviously start the story somewhere and uh hopefully hopefully we'll uh, have you guys join us next episode and uh take care everyone bye yep. so long, folks <laughs>